Hey YouTube, I've got a different kind of review for you today. I've mainly done the uh, Street Fighter series, but um, I went to uh, Collector Mania, which is like a UK version of Comic Con, but rubbish. <laughs> um, and I picked up this guy. Uh, this is the DC Direct Deluxe Joker figure. Um, very, very similar to the Hot Toys figure. Um, the face sculpt isn't quite as good. Um, the clothes aren't quite as good. It's like a cheap version of a Hot Toys Joker, if you like. Um, but still, he's, he's a good figure. I think it bears a, a good resemblance to the actor. Um, looks like the Joker did in the film. Get his face, you get down, you got the tie, you got his, his green waistcoat. I don't know if the colours are going to pick up that well, it's looking a bit dark on the camera. And then he's got a jacket and his purple jacket, it's quite nicely lined. Trousers and shoes, and I think probably one of the most disappointing things about this figure compared to the Hot Toys one is you lift up his shoes and it's just barefoot. Hot Toys one has got some socks on. But nice figure. Um, you know, good job on the paint there and the sculpt on his face. The hair is quite nice as well. It's quite green around there and it's quite dark around the front. I think it looks good. It stands nicely on his own, unless you start knocking it. Um, I'll show you some of the articulation from the bottom up. So on his foot, he's got that. There is no like um, pivot. And there's a there's no this here's nothing there we go there's, there's the twist on the bottom there but and it looks like he's actually glued together and doesn't twist um you've got a single joint on the oh no it feels like a double joint actually yeah double joint on the knee you have to excuse me this is the first big figure review I've done so it's not necessarily going to come out very well um. And then join on the hip. It's got waist there and movement there. Um, you can take all the clothes off and see the articulation, which is what I did. Um, and there is, you know, a good amount of articulation. Oh. Um, and he's got his arms. Um, I think it's a double joint on the elbow, and then the hands there. It's quite easy to get the clothes on and off as well. So that's always good. Now, with the accessories that he comes with, um, let me show you. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lift the camera up a little bit so, so you can see some more. Just piling CDs on top of each other. There we go. Now, accessories that he comes with it comes with his bank robber mask um, now it come, it's got this little bit of elastic on it but the second I took it out of the box I went to put it on and and it pinged like that, it broke which was um, disappointing and it fits on his head but you really have to kind of push it on so if you look in here I don't know if you'll pick it up, there's some red paint on there and then in here there's some red and green paint and on here now there's some white paint where I've kind of forced it on his head but it does fit you kind of want to squeeze the top and the bottom together when you put it on but a nice little figure, it's got good detail on it, you know it looks old and used and nice so I like that, that's a nice little accessory comes with lots of different hands We've got um, two fists, which are just closed fists. We've got two open hands. Uh, one's already on him. Now, I know the Hot Toys ones, the fingers are posable. They're not with this one. Not posable. They're just, just as they are. Um, and then he comes with two grasping hands. Um, and there's another accessory, one of his knives. Now, these and I know this is a collector's item but these are not for kids because that is really sharp like properly sharp if I yammed that into my hand that would stab me so 
just a little note, they're very sharp. Um, it also comes with a kitchen knife um, and a gun. It's a nice gun, good size gun. Um, nice detail on it. The trigger moves and then the cartridge comes out. And one thing I like about this, I'm not sure if it's going to pick this up, but on the cartridge there, the, there's a little bullet and the body of the bullet is silver and the tip of the bullet is gold which I thought was quite a nice little touch and that fits nicely in there um, these open hands do hold the gun if you want them to or obviously you can fit it into the uh, grasping hand See? Um, it comes with a great big machete Brambo knife, whatever you want to call it. Um, this does pop off. I don't know if it's just because it hasn't been glued or if there's a reason for that. But there we go. Again, very sharp, very sharp. And then probably my favourite accessory, which is, is his display stand, which holds him very nicely. This, there's a little button at the back here. You push that and it moves up and down. And then it's got on the bottom there. Uh, a little Batman logo with the Dark Knight uh, and that clips onto him really well you can lift up his coat because if you put it on his coat it kind of holds it down and makes it look like he's being held by something um, you want to try and so what I try and do is get the back piece under And then the top of his overcoat out, so it's still flowing nicely, like that. And then he stands perfectly well, and you can get him in all kinds of poses, and you don't have to worry about falling over at all. So yeah, there we go. DC Direct Joker. Oh, one thing I just want to show you quickly. I want to show you the box. I'm not usually bothered about boxes, but these are nice boxes so I will show you nice big box obviously and you got a picture on there of the figure oh that's another accessory I haven't shown you actually that's because I've still got my box because they're so fiddly there's another nice big picture and a little uh, thing about the film there and he comes with these uh, playing cards they're all jokers there are lots of them in there, I'm not going to bother getting them out. There are lots in there, and they're all really nice detail, they're backed nicely. And you can see at the back there, there's the uh, Certificate of Authenticity. I just thought it was a really nice box. There you go, if you want to uh, read that, pause it now and read it. Yeah, so there we go. DC Direct Deluxe Joker. It's a nice figure. I picked him up for 40 quid. Um, you might be able to get him cheaper if you hunt around. Um, if you want a Hot Toys type figure but can't afford to spend the 100 quid on an action figure like me, then this is a good option, I think. So yeah, there we go. Thank you very much and goodbye.